welcome to the 12th episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, I will be going over monsters and troops. Um, if you've been enjoying this series so far and any of my other videos, make sure to like and comment. And if you want to be updated every time I release a new video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And let's start this by starting the timer and getting straight into the tutorial. Um, enemies are basically the monsters and other stuff you're going to be fighting in your game and to set up enemies and add them to your world you're basically going to be needing to do two things that means create the enemies and create the troops then add them to your world to create the enemies um you basically go to enemy the enemies tab change maximum one or whatever and then you get this blank one um the first thing you want to do is name your enemy this enemy Okay, well, you don't have to name it this enemy. You name it whatever you want. Then you pick the graphics that you want it, that you want it to appear as. Um, let's go ahead and make it this assassin. And you could change the hue if you want. Let's make it red-ish. That's good. Okay. Maximum HP. That's how much HP you want your enemy to have. Attack, how much you want your how much attack these are basically the stats of your enemy so go ahead and set these let's set the defense to five and leave the rest to default um agility change that to 15 luck set that to 15 magic defense set that to three set this to three okay so this is basically how you set up your enemy um rewards esp this is how much you want how much esp you want your enemy to give every time you kill it and gold is how much gold you want it to give every time you kill it. Drop items. These are the items that your enemies drop. So you could pick um, from either the item tab, the weapon tab, or the armor tab. So let's go ahead and give it this item. And probability is like how much you, um, the rate at which the item can drop. One over one is basically 100%. Um, 50%. Um, 75% I think and 25% and let's go ahead and make it like 1 out of 5 so every one, every 5 enemies I basically you could look at look at it like this every 5 enemies I kill I have a chance of it dropping at least 1 can you look at it like yeah I think you could look at it like that so every 5 enemies I have a chance of one of them dropping this item although that could change okay let's go ahead and make it give you this item and also give you this armor but only make the probability like 20 so that's a rare occurrence okay action patterns are basically what your um your enemies are going to do during battle the default is set to attack that means um the your the enemy is going to be attacking you and it's going to be at a rate of 5 and up the way up to 10. That means these are the ratings are basically priority. So that means this attack is this. Let's make a new one. Just to show you an example. This skill. Um, 8. I mean, okay, no, let's add it to 7. I bet. Okay, conditions are the conditions that the enemy is going to do it. Do the action. So always mean they're always gonna do it, and then turn number means the turn number. That means like in turn, t like if the enemy survives to like turn ten, it does a special skill, or if the enemy's HP is low, it does a skill. If the um enemy's MP is low or high, it does a skill. If if the certain state is applied to the enemy, it does a skill. If party level is block is blank, then it does the level. If switch is activated, it does the skill. I mean the action so let's keep it at always now the ratings here five and seven that means this enemy is always is gonna do this skill more than it's gonna do attacking because the rating is seven for this skill and the rating is a five for the attack and that means he's gonna keep, basically keep on doing that until he runs out of mp so let's actually give him some mp um futures again is the same thing as actor classes and weapon and armor and i'm not gonna go ahead i'm not gonna be explaining that to you because it's more of the advanced stuff and okay 
notes again just leave yourself notes let's move on to troops and once you create an enemy you have to add it to a troop even if you just want one you have to add it to a troop but let's go ahead and add two just for the sake of it and then you you get the option to auto name that means like it's basically just going to name this enemy times two so or you can name the troop whatever you want let's go ahead and keep the um auto name you could change your battle back what you want the enemy to huh? that's good okay yeah that's good so the battle back right here you get the options to battle test it that means you could test battle with uh with these options set that means you could have up to four actors battling this enemy just to see like your odds of fighting it this is basically for like tweaking your tweaking the um the battling and balancing your game a little bit more so add obviously adds um enemies remove removes them clear just changes all of them arrange arranges them for you automatically um battle event i'm going to try not to explain that but i'm going to i'm going to briefly explain it but not try to go into go in depth on it um change battle back you already know what that does okay battle events are the things that happen during the battle the events that happen during the battle like you will have a battle and then talk in the battle like um when the end of turn so you can make it like when is your end of your turn you could say something like this like i'm gonna kill you or something like that or you could make it um if an actor's health is this is below 50 percent, you could make it can someone heal me i need help or when enemies hp is or mp is below what yeah hp is below whatever you can make the enemies um like run away if you want or something like that um if it's what what the um word turn it is, you can make the enemy say stuff or you guys say stuff. So if it's turn ten, you can make you you guys say, oh, this battle is going on for quite a long time, or if it switches on. So basically, that's what it does. And this is basically the regular event. So you could, if you know how to invent and stuff like that, you could make event. Like you can make them talk. You can make them control variables and stuff like that. Make conditional branches. Everything you could do in a regular um event, you could do it in here. And you could have multiple event pages. So let's keep only the one. I don't want I don't so again this is more of the advanced stuff. It's not that advanced, but that means anyone can use it. But um span is like when you want you want it throughout the whole battle or that turn or that moment. And that's basically it. Now to add enemies to your to your um you map to add enemies to your game that's multiple ways to do it and I'm gonna be making a a quick map just to show you guys actually Yeah, I might be cutting this off depending on how f fast I make it. I'm trying to make it real fast. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. I don't know. When I'm making maps, I can't, like, I cannot put in as much effort as I possibly can. So, I'm making a quick map. Just for an example watching my time as I make this map I am really trying to hurry up okay but that was something else nope. um put this here oh, oh, no put this more like here put ooh, yeah put it right there although it looks kind of weird um 
Ooh, check up on my time real quick. Nine minutes. Okay. This episode might go on for a while because I'm making this map. Oop, no, that's too obvious. Put it right here. Um, put this here. Put a little bit on the path. Put this right here. Put these three together. I mean, these two together. Yeah. This video is going to go on for a, a little while. Longer than usually. Okay, go ahead and put this. Oh, no, that's, again, too obvious. Put this here. Put that there. Actually, change this here. Change this here. Okay, basically, to add an enemy to your map, you go to Map Properties, you go to Encounters, you click on Edit, and you pick the troops that you want, the weight. What? Is that new? I don't even know what that weight does. I I'm thinking it's like how often it, I don't, I don't know. That's my first time seeing of it. So I'm not going to try to explain it to you. You can make a home map of specified regions. Let's make, let's make this enemy, um, the whole map. And then another way to add enemies to your map into a certain positions is by regions. So let's say you want only the grass to trigger the, um, to trigger the enemies coming out so you basically just pick regions that you want oops okay although the character can't be over here but let's still make that so basically again you go back to map properties you set this and then you pick which regions you want the enemy to region one okay so basically although the um enemies appear the whole let's get rid of that that means every time you walk on grass then the enemies can come out on and attack you basically that's how you add enemies to your game and again thanks for watching this video although i didn't say it before but thanks for watching this video on my other videos don't forget to um don't forget to tune in for the next episode which is the making states and that would do that right after i stopped this video that i've this is like the sixth or fifth video i've made today and the second one is still rendering because they take a while to render so 40 percent right now and it's been 12 minutes again thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next episode peace